Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Decius Army Drone, yet another Army Builder figure from the newest line of Netflix Transformers. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy, the Decius Army Drone right there in robot mode, and as you can see, it is a repaint of Siege Ironhide. On the side of the box is some great artwork with the Quinnison logo. This is actually a Quinnison figure. So it's really cool getting some of those or Quinnison Allegiance figure. Here on the back, you've got the Decius drone in robot mode and vehicle mode. Quinnison logo once again and Transformers Kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this drone out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Decius Army drone all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But we have seen this mold quite a few times before, so you should know how to transform this guy by now. He also comes with his rocket launcher slash hammer weapon, which has a really good paint job now. I really like this. And, of course, you've got the drone himself, who we'll now take a closer look at. Now, the Decius Army drone is a straight-up repaint of War for Cybertron Siege Ironhide. And we've also seen that mold used for War for Cybertron Siege Ratchet and War for Cybertron Siege Crosshairs. So, this is a very well-used mold, but it's a pretty good one. Now, taking a closer look at the Decius drone, I love the paint scheme. Black and silver and gray with a transparent purple windshield right here that actually looks really good. I'm usually not a fan of these, but the darker color does save you from having to see all the junk on the inside. Of course, with his innards painted black, it really looks good. He also has a Quintesson logo right there. Closer look at the face, he's got some blue eyes, silver face, black helmet, battle damage all over, which really doesn't look bad for this figure or this character. I dig it. I think he looks really, really good. I mean, he looks like a separate character from Ironhide. And one thing they have fixed with this figure is these damn leg flaps. That, I'm pulling on that. That's not going anywhere. These were terrible on the other figures. They popped off so easy. They have fixed that, and I am so thankful. Now, taking a closer look at his little weapon here, I love the paint job on this. Check out the green missiles there on the inside. That looks so good. I believe, yeah, the original Siege Ironhide, those weren't painted at all. Netflix knocked it out of the park with this one. I don't think Crosshairs was painted as either. Nope, all silver, so 
kudos to Hasbro for actually painting the tips of the missiles. Of course, this can transform into a war hammer, if you will, but I like to use it as a missile launcher or plug that into his hand like so. And there you go. He looks fantastic. Now, I'm not going to go over all the articulation because I have went over that before in the reviews of the other figures. So if you want to check out my Siege Ironhide review, just click the link above. Now let's take a look at the Decius drone in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, the color scheme carries over very well. I mean, I dig it. It looks really good, though there's a lot more silver right there on the canopy than the rest of the vehicle. That does kind of stand out, but still, it doesn't look bad. This looks like a battle-ravaged vehicle that's seen a lot, and it works. It's beefy. It's mean-looking. I love it. I do wish there was a little bit more details on the wheels, but it is what it is. And of course, you can take the rocket launcher and put it on top of the vehicle for some extra armament, which looks awesome. So there you have the Decius drone in vehicle mode. The Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Decius Army Drone is another surprise repaint from this Netflix line. I am really digging these army building repaints that Hasbro is giving us. The Decius Army drone here, the sparkless bot using the barricade mold. These paint jobs look amazing on these figures, and I'm really not minding buying doubles at all. They just look that good and look really good on the shelf as your army building for your display. So there you go, guys. The Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Decius Army Drone. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Decius Army Drone belong in your collection? Well, that depends. If you're an army builder, absolutely. This guy is awesome. I love the paint scheme. Him, along with this sparkless bot, they just look great together, and I'm using them to build an army of bots on my display, especially with my Quintesson. Now, for the regular collectors, this may be a pass for you, but still, I love the paint scheme in hell. If you're a Transformer collector, you're going to be buying repaints anyway. So in my opinion, you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up, you're not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I'm trying my damnedest to reach 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello! Good God, I got sunburnt today. <laughs>